So coming into yesterday's matchup with the 22 Stanley Cup finalists, the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Arizona Coyotes called on backup Connor Ingram to fill in between the pipes. Now for those that aren't aware, Ingram was actually drafted by the Lightning in 2016 with the 88th overall pick. They then demoted him to the ECHL and let him go for just a 7th round pick to the Predators. So certainly some history there for Ingram and this being the first time he's faced the team that brought him to the league, he came to play and broke an all-time NHL regular season record in the process. Let's see how he got there. In the first, the Lightning came out buzzing and had some great chances as they outshot Arizona 21-7, 12 of which came on the power play. So right from the first, Ingram was tested heavily but was lights out with some key saves. This is the most shots Arizona has given up in the opening period all season. So over to the second and it was more of the same. A shot from the point, Belmar on the rebound gets shut down. Nick Paul on the power play, another good chance but no dice. On the other and the Coyotes finally came alive a bit and created a few good chances. Keller here tries to squeeze one in but hits the bar and then Kraus on the back end with a huge stop by Elliott and this had to be a strange game for Elliott who had the pressure on him now. With such few shots, you don't want to be the first one to give one up. With that said, the onslaught continued. Point and Sorelli pair up. Sorelli stopped on the back end. Kucherov can't beat him in the dying seconds here and it was just one after the other as Ingram continued to bail them out. Over to the third now, the Lightning appeared to get gas out as they had peppered Ingram all game and only got off five more shots in the third period. So the Coyotes on the power play had a huge opportunity but Elliott this time shuts the door as Hayton can't solve him. Right after that Valmaki with a phenomenal pass to Bukestad and he hits the crossbar. Hayton again and again gets shut down and this was just a battle back and forth between the goalies so this one went to overtime. In overtime it was all the lightning. First here Hagel drops it to Stamkos with the game on his stick and he can't put it home as Agram with a big pad stop. A glove save on Sorelli here, Kucherov to Nemestikov here, but again, nobody can beat the guy. In the dying seconds of overtime, the Lightning got on the power play, win the faceoff, Kucherov comes wide, shoots it, and off the post, and he just can't believe it anymore. Just a wild game that had to go to the shootout. So at this point, both goalies got the shutout. But let's go over the shootout just quickly. Nick Schmaltz up first for Arizona, goes wide and scores. The first goal of the game, beating Elliott glove side. Stamkos up next comes down and it gets stopped at first but Ingram can't get enough of it and it pops up and goes in. Bukestad and Point up next both got shut down as the goalies continue to put on a clinic. Keller up next for Arizona comes down forehand backhand and roosts it for a beauty to go up. So now Needing to score, Kucherov in, tries to bring it back, but gets shut down as Ingram. Another big stop, wins the game, and look at the emotion. The team obviously so happy for him, but they just absolutely stole a game here. And what a revenge game for Ingram, who, all in all, stomped all 47 shots for his first NHL shutout, becoming the first goaltender in NHL regular season history, beating out none other than his own teammate, Vimelka, which is just, you can't really make this stuff up. What's absolutely wild is the caliber of teams that the Coyotes have beat at home in Mullet Arena. I mean, look at this list. This is absurd. But yeah, a fantastic game. And what are the odds? Just yesterday, I made a video of Mando doing something that hadn't been done in 40 years by winning his NHL debut with 46 shots. Now this? Just pretty great stuff from the goalies right now. And one more for you guys, because why not? Ingram has now stopped 40 plus shots in five of his last 10 starts. What a run he is on. But yeah, as always, Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.